And now we're joined live from the U.S. by Hassan Hussein, who is from St. Mary's University, Minnesota, and he's an Ethiopian writer. Thank you so much for joining us here on Al Jazeera. These releases had been announced a, a few weeks ago, and I guess there's some sort of skepticism at the time. How do you feel about the fact that they have already begun with a senior uh, a leader being released? Are you surprised or perhaps relieved? I'm not sur surprised. I am I'm, I'm very happy that he is released. Today's release of Marara Gudina, one of the great sons of the country and a lifelong freedom fighter, is a victory for the Oromo and the people of Ethiopia. Uh, as you know, the people have been protesting since 2004. This is a victory for them. However, I have to question that, uh, uh, although uh, we are happy that Marara is released, uh, it's a great step. However, there are still thousands of political prisoners still languishing in the jails, uh, uh, including uh, uh, Bakala Garba, uh, one of the most prominent uh, Oromo leaders in the country. Uh, there are thousands of political prisoners still languishing in the jail. There are, there, there are scores of uh, journalists that are uh, still in jail. So this on, scratches only the surface of the problem. Ethiopia is facing a huge problem, and this is just a start. Uh, many of those arrests were obviously stemming from the demonstrations that we saw in late 2015, which caused the government uh, a crackdown. Demonstrations demanding effectively a wider freedoms. They started in Oromia and Amara and then moved to other parts of the country. I mean, what do you see when it comes to the actual root issues that caused those demonstrations, so wider uh, democracy and wider freedom in the country? I mean, these releases are obviously a, a good step towards it, but do you think uh, it's a guarantee in any way? There, there is no guarantee. Uh, the, the, the laws that are used uh, to put Marara and the others in jail are still in force. Uh, the country still has a, a draconian um, uh, press law. The civil li uh, liberties uh, on uh, uh, humanitarian and civic organization is still there. The anti-terrorism law is still there. The electoral system is still in shambles. The, 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 ju the judiciary is a mockery of justice. Without these reforms, uh, uh, I don't think the country has, uh, uh, will be able to, uh, to contain the protest. Uh, the regime has to do more, has to, uh, has to reform, has to res rescind these uh, draconian laws, has to institute uh, judicial reform, uh, security sector reform, a, com a complete overhaul of the electoral system. Without this, uh, I don't think um, the people will be re uh, satisfied with the re release of a mere 111 uh, political prisoners out of tens of thousands. Um, what do you um, think the international community could do at this point to perhaps push uh, Ethiopia towards a, a wider reforms and some of the issues that, that you were discussing right now? Well, the, the, the international com community has been um, at, w uh, in, in working with the ruling party uh, in the name of fighting uh, the war on terrorism. Uh, it has been, been looking the other way while the, the state uh, imprisoned tens and, and tens of uh, tens and thousands of uh, political prisoners. Uh, I, I think uh, they cannot uh, look the other way any longer. They have to uh, press the regime uh, to open up the political space, allow more freedom, uh, rescind these draconian laws that uh, put uh, people like Marara and Bakalagarba in jail. Uh, without rescinding those laws, uh, the release of these prisoners doesn't mean much because uh, uh, Marara could go back to uh, behind the, the bars uh, simply for uh, speaking up uh, for the rights of his people and against uh, uh, the injustice. Uh, Dr. Hassan Hussein from the University of Minnesota and an Ethiopia analyst, sir. Thank you.